In this tutorial we'll be creating this amazing shake effect in After Effects which you can use as a transition as well. It is very simple without using any plugins so let's get into it. Alright so I have a skate clip here which I went ahead and just played with the timing of it so it goes from slow to fast like so and again here. Here I just have the same shot just flipped so I can demonstrate how we use it as a transition as well. So I'm gonna go pre-compose this. Now this is a great effect to add these final touches for your music video or whatever you might be doing. It adds a lot of impact and it's very simple. Okay, so starting off we're gonna go into effects and presets and add our wiggle. As you can see we have a few of these, I'm gonna be using the position one. And what that does is basically a light shake that you can see it's going all over here. Let's disable these two for now and let's find where we want this to start. So say when he jumps, I'm gonna set a keyframe here, set these two to zero, set a keyframe hit U to bring these up, go a few frames forward where it's in the air, like here, set this to 5 and this one to 50, and go right about here a few frames, and set these to 0 once again. Select them, hit F9, go into the graph, and in case you're new just right click anywhere on the graph and make sure you're editing the speed values. And just do like I'm doing here, so basically I'm going from slow to fast, and here from fast to slow. Let's enable these back and see what we got. All right, as you can see, we already have half the shake here. Let's add another effect that I'd like to use for this, which is exposure. Go to our first shake frame, set the keyframe for the exposure here, go to this keyframe, set it to one, and let's go a few keyframes here and set it back to zero. Doing the same, I'm hitting U to bring these up, F9, Now something that many people leave out is these black edges that the shake creates and all you have to do is scale your composition by a few pixels so let's say 105 just to be safe and we fix that issue right away. Another thing is you want to make sure your motion blur is on so it looks much smoother and that is basically it. All that's left to do to drop it in a few spots is copy all these three. Let's say when he lands right here, I want the second keyframe to happen. And let's see where we transition to the next shot, so right about here. And let's see what we got. Boom, boom. As you can see, this works nicely as a transition as well. And that is how you create a shake in After Effects. Very simple. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.